Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, Prisoner of Ice. I'm Comchak Fisco, and come join me for an H.P. Lovecraft adventure. Now can I radio Disco? Drisco, I'm going into tube number 26. Stand by for firing in 10 seconds. Oh, boy. Hold on tight, Admiral. This will blow your skirt up. To <laughs> say the least. That must be the hour. Admiral, there's a vessel on the surface. With a bit of luck, you won't have to swim for too long. All right, Admiral, let's go! No kidding. I take my hat off to him. He's got guts, that little lieutenant. Thanks. This is very 90s. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, it was loading. It was like, that was a weird load screen. A distress flare! Sound the alarm! We found them! Alright, we actually rescued everybody. The Falkland Islands. Nice. Edwards Base, 13th of January, 1937. So this is early in the war. As far as you're concerned, Ryan, Operation Polaris is over. But while you await your repatriation to Washington, you'll continue to hold the rank of Lieutenant in the Royal Navy. Interesting. What happened to Ham's son? We found him exhausted inside a metal locker on board the Victoria. He's been taken to the medical wing on the base. Is the last Polaris crate safely stowed, Captain Sears? I've placed it under close watch. Nothing can happen to it. All right, so I'm actually going to change a setting. Enter. Right now, the text is on click, and I want to make At it ease. go at its own speed. Captain, I've put the film uh, Miss Molly sent outside in the corridor. Thank you. You have a projection room here on the base? Yes, but the projectionist has been confined to barracks by Quartermaster Quincy. Hmm. Who is this Miss Molly, Captain? The code name for one of our spies operating in Germany. Oh. I must leave you, Lieutenant. I have matters to deal with. Wait in my office for Quincy. He'll give you your duty roster. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I poke around while you're gone. Alright, so first things first, and I'll save the game. Then I'm going to change the dialogue options. Uh, end of dialogue. Timed. Because I think we missed the screen of it showing the uh, manner we were in because I had to click to move the dialogue forward. So I, I wanted to make sure that doesn't happen again. Paintings! Doesn't work. Artists didn't dare sign. I can understand why. Wait, no, 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 there was a drawer. Five, two, three. Interesting. Should probably close the drawer so there's no evidence we were screwing around with. Wait, I saw something. Pack, pack cigarettes. Grab cigarettes. Oh, we're going to be pixel hunting. ID file. Grab one of those. Quartermaster Quincy. Oh, I didn't get to go into the other drawer. Oh, here's your duty roster. Lieutenant, you have nothing more to do here. Crap. I've already wasted enough time drawing up your duty roster. Some effects belonging to Hampson have disappeared. I need to find them. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I wasn't done searching the... Ugh. Meanwhile in the basement... Am I supposed to click? I specifically told it not to be that. Uh-oh. Hampson's not Lieutenant? human anymore. Your duty roster, Lieutenant? Here it is. Yeah? Okay, um, I'm gonna save it a new slot because I don't know if we missed an opportunity to pick stuff up in the room or not. Uh, give me one second. 
You know what? Curiosity has the best of me. I absolutely have to go. Whoops, hold on. I screwed up something in my software. There we go. Much better. All right. I I'm going to go back and load. I want to see what happens. Um, I want to see what's in the other drawer. There's nothing inside. Papers. Can we grab the papers? Doesn't work. Incomplete pass is of no value. It's a form of pass, but it's incomplete. Alright, so there's nothing else to grab. Alright, so I think whatever we grabbed on here, the ID was what triggered the, the scene to end. So, okay. Well, that means we got everything we could. Alright, so in that case, we didn't actually miss anything, because we just saw what was on here, so I gotta load the other game. Alright, so we didn't miss anything. Grab the reel of film. Alright, so there's nothing else. Nasty looking. Alright, let's try this door. Well, hello, Shaw. I'm Lieutenant Ryan. No messages for me? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I don't have time to talk to you. Okay, then. Hey, don't touch that radio. <laughs> I had to try. It's an adventure game, man. Is it out of order radio? Interesting. Hey, don't touch that! Well, apparently he's just gonna monitor every little thing I do. Ooh, the kettle! Damn, it's burning hot. This is the water's boiling. Uh, I don't have anything I can use with it yet. Can't open the lockers. Alright, so this is a room we can't do anything with yet. Alright, so let's go to the next room. Anything about the desk? Damn, it's too heavy to shift. Locked. Wardrobe. I'm wasting my time. How many skeletons are hidden in that wardrobe? <laughs> Funny. I don't know where this goes. We can't interact with it. We can't really do anything. Oh, I can look out the window. Jammed. Anyway, I'm not going to get over. I'm not. I'm not here to go over the wall. Okay. All right. Let's go wherever this goes. It's all the only place we can go left. Ooh, swords, sabers, trinkets. No point in getting cluttered up with this junk. Dust collectors, that's what they are? Wow. How many sailors? How many captains? Am I in a military base or an art gallery? That's a good question. Horrid. No point in wasting time. That's Shaw's field of action. Well, I don't want to grab a sword. I should try something else. Aw. I want to grab the sword. Never know when a saber will come in handy. McLaughlin. Are you the projectionist for the base? I lied, but I've been confined to barracks for a little cigarette traffic I had going. Cigarette traffic, you say? I just happened to have found a pack of smokes. Quincy has had you confined at Captain Sears' orders? No, lad. The captain's not the type to confine a man because of three cigarettes. He's a good chap, the captain. Huh. I haven't been sent by Quincy. I get the impression he's not very keen on me, either. <laughs> that's more like it. He's added another line in red to my file, you know. Uh-huh. Are there personnel files at the base? You'll have to ask Shaw about that. He knows everything. I wonder if we can go back to Shaw now. Could you screen this film for me? You're on. Provided you hit Quincy. But what are you offering in return? Okay, so I can give him the cigarettes in return. Okay, perfect. Too securely bolted to the floor. This one must be strict here. There's not a single piece of graffiti on it. It doesn't open. Nothing of interest. I got lots of books. There's no point in getting cluttered up with this junk. Wait, there was a book. 496. That would be the other half of the piece of paper. 496523. I can't take anything with me or else McLaughlin will be accused of theft. 496523. Okay, so we got the number. That's my card file. Okay, so I can't read it. Door, door. Uh, before we go back, I want to go back and talk to uh, Sears. Was it Sears? Or is this Quincy? It was Sears' office, but wasn't that Quincy we were talking to? Yeah, Quincy's the douchebag. Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, no. Quincy's the dick. Got it. Alright. Quincy's the only one in there. We don't even want to talk to him. 
All right, so before we view the film, let's check the other two doors, then. It's pointless. The door's locked. All right. Where's the window go? This isn't open. Looks out into the projection room. All right, so I guess we just give them the pack of smokes? Who on earth has painted all these hideous paintings? I don't know. Alright, so let's go ahead and give him the smokes. Here. <laughs> I know now it's not one of Quincy's tricks. <laughs> but I accept only if I can be of service to you. Uh, the film. Could you screen this film for me? Give us your film. I'll run it for you. Cool. Alright, so we just gotta give him the film reel. Could you screen this film for me? Here we go. Let's see what's on it. Oh, there's something on the desk right there that I totally missed. This is the Norwegians excavating. No, this is the Nazis. So they flat out possess a person. That's creepy. So, my friend, did you enjoy the film? Very edifying, uh, McLaughlin. Uh, what kind of film is it? Technical, McLaughlin. Very technical. <laughs> okay, no, that's not something I can click on. I just wanted to make sure. All right, so... Uh, McLaughlin? Yes, lad? You shouldn't smoke so much. Bad for your health. <laughs> All right, so where else can we go? Whoa. That's not good. It's Are you Lieutenant Ryan? Hampson has disappeared. I discovered a strange green slime at the foot of his bunk. Lovely. Have you noticed anything similar on board the Victoria? No, not that I can remember. Hmm. That's strange. Well, I'm guessing we hit the button. Map of the base. It's Edward's base. Gee, that's that's so helpful. All right, let's hit the button. I guess we go down. Your pass, Lieutenant. Uh, Ryan's card file, I take it? Nope, I guess I don't have the card. Well, shit. Okay, so... Was that the unfinished document we saw on Sears' table? Shit. Can't you see I'm busy? We gotta find a way to get rid of him. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can do something with the radio guy now? I'm Lieutenant Ryan. No messages for me? I've just deciphered one for you. Hey, your friends in Washington are all paranoid. Yeah. Have intercepted coded message originating from Edwards base, destined for Germany. That's not good. A traitor is operating from within the base. Look up the personnel files, and keep an eye on Hamsar. I wonder if the traitor in the base was whoever was on the ship that was a traitor, which it's it's got to be the guy that we saved, unless there was more than just the three of us left on the submarine. Uh, do you know where I can find the personnel files? Ask McClaglin. All right. I spoke to him. He said you could help me. All right, Lieutenant. The files are next to the armory. Okay, good to know. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, keep up the video list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please don't forget to that like button and tune to the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.